Prepare yourself for a powerful sensation. New Airwave Soothing Action Honey and Lemon Flavor. One chew releases a powerful menthol action and instantly helps your throat feel soothed. And the sensational effect really lasts and lasts. Original Airwaves Vapor Release for your nose and new Soothing Action Honey and Lemon for your throat. Airwaves, fast acting, long lasting, sensational. Esto. Bubble, no squeak. Oh my, did you see that? Louis. They never saw it coming. What have you done? Poor froggies. <laughs> You've lost it, Louis. This is the best day of my life, Frankie. Bud. Huh? What was that? Frog? Bud. Th 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 it's a mistake. Wise. Ferret said he. Wise. What is it? Bud. No. Wise. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Bud. Never hire a ferret to do a weasel's job. Bud. You promised me, Ferret! First day of our break, decided to grab breakfast by the sea. Stunning roads. Thought I'd show off my driving skills. Yeah, baby! Come on, baby! Hit a spot of traffic on the way back. Ah! Simply nip through it. Back at hotel in no time. Oh, and Jack proposed. Said okay. The Imperans for the ultimate cheese on toast. Mark tells us you do work in the community. Oh, what was it you did at university? And I hear you're fond of needlework. So tell us, how did you two meet? Bacardi Breezer. There's Latin spirit in every one. Tart? You go public and 30 million people hear what you gotta say, nothing, I mean nothing, will ever be the same again. Now the work we did here is confidential, not for public scrutiny, any more than our one's family matters. We're very serious about protecting our interests. He's got something to say, he wants to say it, I want it on 60 Minutes. Maybe for the audience, it's just voyeurism, something to do on a Sunday night. And maybe it won't change a thing. And people like myself and my family are left hung out to dry, used up, alone. What does this guy have to say? 
Now, don't be paranoid, Jeff. That threatens these people. But it isn't cigarettes are bad for you. Who is this? <gasps> they have no right to hide behind a corporate agreement. He can talk, we can air it. The worst kind of an organized smear campaign against a whistleblower. Shoplifting, failing to pay child support. They can paint everything with that brush. Now, what, what are you going to do now? You're going to finesse me, lawyer me some Mike. more? Try Mr. Wallace. If we aired this segment... I was told... Don't talk! Mind my own business. We could be at grave risk. We're doing this with or without you, Lowell. Are you a businessman or are you a newsman? He's only the key witness in the biggest public health reform issue in U.S. history. Does he go on television and tell the truth? Yes. Is it newsworthy? Yes. Are we gonna air it? Of course not. Why? Because he's not telling the truth. No, because he is telling the truth. And the more truth he tells, the worse it gets. You manipulated me into this. I fought for you and I still fight. The American public need to know. Jeffrey! And you wish you hadn't come forward? Dr. Wagland's deposition will be part of this record. You wish you hadn't blown the whistle? Jeffrey! Do I think it's worth it? I told the truth. It's valid and true and provable. These people, that's not the point whether you told the truth or not. Seven and a half, right? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Welcome to the seven and a half floor of the Merton Plummer building. My name is Craig Schwartz and I have an interview with Dr. Lester. Please have a seat, Mr. Juarez. My name is Schwartz. My name is Schwartz. Which of these two letters comes first, this one or this one? The symbol on the left is not a letter, sir. Damn, you're good. Do you know that I don't even know your name or where you work? And 50 other lines to get into a girl's pants. <laughs> so, honey, you thought any more about us having a baby? I think that maybe we should just wait and see if this job thing pays off. There's a tiny door in my office, Maxine, and it takes you inside John Malkovich. So there's no such thing as a hole into somebody's brain. Yes, there is. You see the world through John Malkovich's eyes? <laughs> And then after about 15 minutes... And that's not me. I didn't say that. You're spit out into a ditch on the side of the New Jersey turnpike. It was amazing. Where the hell are we? We're about to be just subconscious. Do you think that it's kind of weird that John Malkovich has a portal? I mean, do you think that it might have some sort of significance? What is going on? Huh? I discovered that portal. It's my head! John Cusack. Cameron Diaz, Catherine Keener, and John Malkovich. Malkovich! Malkovich! Being John Malkovich. Hey, Malkovich, be fast! Truly anomalous formation. It's unlike anything that we've seen so far. We're trying not to go too nuts up here, but we think there's a good chance that this could be water. Of course, if that's correct, then we may have found the key to permanent human colonization. Yes. Okay, we're ready to light this candle. Let's go to Mars.
compare to abandoned ship. For centuries, we've searched for the origin of life on Earth. We've been looking on the wrong planet. Helmet and tell me your name. My name is Gladiator. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance. Today I saw a slave become more powerful than the Emperor of Rome. They said you were a giant. I shall cheer for you. At my signal, unleash hell. What we do in life echoes in eternity. Sorry I barged in on your vacation. This is your mission, should you choose to accept it. Should you or any member of your armed force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow all knowledge of your actions. You gotta be kidding. This message will destruct in five seconds. Yeah. Mm. No, we, we strongly advise our customers not to touch electrical wires. 
Yeah. We'll send an engineer out to do something you possibly can. Yeah, sorry. I'm just going to have to put you through. Hold on a second. Uh, sorry, sir. Put you on hold for a second. Yeah. Mm. <laughs>